Hello everyone, my name is Simon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use TrueCrypt, a free and open source encryption software, which allows you to do different options of encryption. For example, you can create a virtual encrypted disk within a file and mount it as a real disk, which you can see this option right here. You can use TrueCrypt to encrypt an entire partition that could be a drive or a USB flash drive. Also, you can use encryption to encrypt a partition or drive where Windows installed. So this is called pre-boot authentication. So before even Windows starts, you're going to be asked for a password enter. So pretty cool stuff. To download TrueCrypt, just go to the TrueCrypt website, www.truecrypt.org. Go to Downloads, and then you'll see an option for the latest stable version. So I've already downloaded it. And one thing I do want to show you is that um, when you download uh, TrueCrypt and you're going to actually install it, you do have a couple options here. You can actually install it so it's actually installed on your computer or potentially a better option is just the extract the files, which I've done, and that way there's nothing installed on your computer itself. So I've already went ahead and extracted those files. And what you're going to be using is just this TrueCrypt EXE. You also have a fantastic user guide, which is over 100 pages long. So let's go ahead and start TrueCrypt for the first time. And what you're going to do is create a volume. So let's click on Create Volume. And we're going to have three options here. These are the options I mentioned at the beginning of the video. You can create a file container, which is basically a file that's going to have the files you're going to want encrypted. And it's going to be like any other file on your computer. So you have to be careful because you can actually delete it and delete all the contents that belong to it. You have a couple other options as well. You can create a volume within a non-system partition or device. And as you can see, formats encrypts a non-system partition entire external or secondary drive, including an entire USB drive. And finally, you can also encrypt a system partition or an entire system drive. The, the easiest thing to show you and the simplest way to encrypt data is just simply create a file container. So let's click on next. And we here have here standard TrueCrypt volume. This is interesting. You can also create a hidden TrueCrypt volume. And this explains that if you're forced to tell someone what your password is, you can actually create a secondary volume. So it's going to be very difficult for them to determine that you actually have something encrypted on your computer. It's going to be much easier for us to stick with a standard TrueCrypt volume. So let's click on Next. And we're going to select a file. So let's go ahead and select that. I'm just going to call this test. You can call it any name you want. Uh, my recommendation would be not to call it my encrypted data, <laughs> but you can call it anything you want. After that, click on next. And I'm going to leave this checked here, never save history. The encryption algorithm AES and hash algorithm are fine to leave as default. And this is where you're going to give it some free space for just for this example. I'm going to give it two megabytes, so something very small. Click on next, and this is where you're going to give it the password. As you can see, I gave it a very simple password just for this example. And it's going to say, well, you're using a short password. Short passwords are easy to crack using brute force techniques. I'm just going to click on yes anyways. And now it's going to start encrypting the file. You can see random pool. You also have move your mouse as randomly as possible within this window to ensure better encryption and then click on format. As you can see, the TrueCrypt volume has been successfully created. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Now we're going to actually mount this file, so it's going to be mounted like a drive. So, and you can choose any of these ones. I like to choose the ones closer to the bottom, and use these ones available for USB drives or external drives. So let's go ahead and we'll do T since T is for TrueCrypt. 
I'll just select the file. So as you can see, Windows does not associate this file with anything, and I'll show you that uh, later in the video, but let's go ahead and open that. As you can see, here's the file, and click on mount, and it's going to ask us for its password. Now, it is extremely important for you to remember your password, because if you forget your password, tough luck for you, my friend, because you're never, ever getting your data back unless someone has a lot of time and many more lifetimes that you and I have to crack that password. Let's go ahead and click OK. And now this is mounted as a T drive. So let's go to my computer. As you can see, it's a T drive right there and it shows you the total size. So from here, I can drag and drop files in there. I can save files there. Pretty straightforward. The other thing I should mention is that it doesn't have to be the T drive in the future. You can mount it as another drive uh, anytime you want. And of course, you can also copy and paste that file assuming you actually have an exe, TrueCrypt exe, to use that file elsewhere. So from here, I can actually copy files into this container here. Oops. And after I unmount, unmount it, I could copy that file and take it with me somewhere else as well. So as you can see, if I double click on this file here, Windows is not going to have any idea what this file is for. And hopefully no one else will as well. A really good idea, especially if you're using this on a USB, is to unmount it, to dismount it. So we go ahead and click dismount. It's more, well, actually, it's important to do this on a USB drive because if you don't exit a USB drive, you could have some data loss. By default, the USB drives do come up with some protection, but if you uh, enable write caching then to speed up your USB drive, then just make sure you dismount that properly. If it's just a mounted within Windows, then it's not as crucial you can actually shut down Windows and it will actually dismount those volumes automatically. So there you have it, some very basic uh, steps to use encryption software, very straightforward. Uh, once again, make sure that you do not forget your password because any data you put in there is going to be gone. My name is Simon and thanks for watching this video.